African elephant, Loxodonta africana. This is a huge animal, a huge mammal that is found in Africa. It is a giant of Africa. It feeds mainly on anything that is vegetation, be it the leaves, the branches of the trees, it feeds on the bugs, the cambium, it feeds on the roots, the rhizomes, uh, the sedges, it feeds on anything, the grasses, anything that you can think of that is vegetation matter. So the elephant is very, very big and massive. It's got very big trunk, a very big foot. Wherever it steps, if it is muddy, it leaves a very big, big, big hole. And sometimes the water will collect in that uh, uh, hole. So that shows how big and heavy an elephant is. You know, an elephant actually is a dangerous animal that is found also on the big five. That includes uh, the lion, that includes the buffalo, the leopard, and uh, the black rhino. So the elephant has got um, so many weapons that um, um, trunk and also the, the tusks. Uh, they use those for fighting, they use those for defending themselves and also the trunk is used as the hand. It has got some small pointers there that it uses to pick up even the smallest seeds and it can pick them up and feed. It can even pick a needle so that's how uh, effective is that trunk. It uh, actually like I uses the trunk also for breathing as the nose as well as for drinking water. It draws water into the trunk then it actually splashes the water into the mouth. So yes, that's an elephant for you. So in today's video, we are talking about uh, the dangerous animals that are found in Africa. And this is the Art Base Survivor Africa, the channel that talks about things that happens in Africa. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and activating the bell icon. And please, if you watch our videos, don't forget to leave the comment down below and the questions. We answer each and every question and we visit all the comments that you leave down there. And please don't forget to share these videos and also the channel with your friends and family so that uh, they know what's taking place in Africa and also those who want to visit Africa this is the right channel for you to follow because we also point out some uh, tourist destinations in Africa especially southern Africa and also we point out what you need to know about Africa we talk about the celebrities we talk about the current affairs of Africa the visas whatever that you want to know and please if you have anything in mind let us know and we'll actually make a video out of whatever you ask. Well, as we are talking about the dangerous animals of Africa, the elephant is one of those and it has killed a lot of people here in Africa. It's a close encounter, surprise visiting, and also those who are hunting in Africa, they know an African elephant very well. But it is a very calm and a beautiful animal to just watch as it is walking around you know it's a giant as it is pulling down the branches as it is feeding drinking water swimming in the in the rivers and doing all sort of things very calm and kind animal but please don't ever get too close to an elephant don't make an elephant uncomfortable otherwise it will retaliate for those who are doing safari in africa please Give an elephant some room to breathe. Give an elephant some room to do whatsoever it is doing. Don't get too close to an elephant. You know, provoking an elephant is like provoking an earthquake. Otherwise, something miraculous will just happen to you. So you have to be very careful. Let's talk about the trunk alone. That trunk here has got, uh, it's got uh, so many muscles that are over 150,000. We call them the fascicles. And uh, those are small portions of muscles that are found in the elephant uh, trunk. That makes it very, very strong and very uh, tough. And it can kill you by just a single uh, uh, beating. So if it just like smashes you, like, like it's making you, you can die out of uh, that uh, uh, beating from an elephant trunk. So you have to be careful. And also it can cause a huge and massive damage to the car uh, by just a single smash on the car and sometimes i've seen elephants turning upside down like the cars upside down and it, the elephants causing some serious damages into the cars using their trunks and whatsoever so please don't involve yourself in such a scenario view the end of the elephant at a distance and give an elephant some room to breathe some room to do whatsoever it is doing don't make an elephant suspect you as a threat so that's one thing that we actually like uh, forget as uh, safari guides as hunters as people walking in the in the bush 
sometimes we have witnessed some elephants killing some innocent people like you're just walking around in the bush and uh, maybe you're looking for firewood especially in Africa many people use firewood for cooking and at the end of the day you find yourself under the belly of an elephant the elephant is just breathing right behind you and you don't have anywhere to run at the end of the day the elephant will kill you you know such kills are actually like accidentally it doesn't mean that an elephant will love to kill people no it's just accidentally you spook the elephant and at the end of the day it doesn't have any choice it has to strike to try and defend itself so don't find yourself in such a scenario give a space between you and an elephant so that you don't encounter such serious uh, injuries or death or damages to whatsoever property you have well an elephant actually has got a trunk that weighs about 150 kgs so as i'm saying that trunk can cause serious damage 150 kgs when it comes to a human body that will be something like an earthquake it actually damages all the body tissues and it can tear you up and it can also use its trunk to tear you up when it's fighting you so be careful when you are in the african jungle this is the giant of africa the African elephant, Loxodonta Africa, uh, Africana. So please, these elephants love feeding on the fruits as well. And the same fruits that we feed on as humans, like the Amarula fruits, those are very delicious fruits. And we use them to uh, brew some beer here in Africa. There is a traditional beer that is uh, brewed from the Amarula. And also we've got another beer that is found on the shelves that is called Marula. <laughs> it comes from this fruit. The elephants love feeding on these fruits. And uh, there is a belief that when the elephants or any animal feeds much of these fruits, they become intoxicated and uh, they become a little bit tipsy. So sometimes they act crazy. So you might encounter are some elephants when you are looking for those fruits and the same applies to the palm fruits elephants love palm fruits and also the watering walls avoid going to the watering walls especially late in the afternoon around 4 p.m 5 p.m 6 p.m that's when the elephants will just flock into the watering wall to try and find something to drink and if you happen to be found along those areas you are in danger of being hurt by the the, the elephants and those who are camping don't camp camp close to the watering walls and also on the uh, animal trails uh, these trails that the animals use to come down to drink water in the watering wall or in the rivers avoid such places well driving around in the national parks sometimes we have some national parks that allow smaller cars to drive around in the national parks and please you have to be very cautious if you're driving a small car because an elephant can easily tip off the, 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 the small car it can actually like uh, push it off and uh, crush it into like a, a small ball smush it together and what happens if you're inside that car you are risking your life don't drive too close to an elephant and if you're driving a small car please be careful and be cautious i am warning you this is an african elephant i have seen an elephant like uh, chasing uh, the safari vehicles whereby everyone in the car is just nervous. We don't even know what's going to happen there. An elephant becoming very crazy. What type or what structure of uh, like the social structure of the elephants should we avoid or should we be aware of? The females with the calves or the babies, those animals are very aggressive and they're very defensive. They can do whatever they can do to defend their uh, their, their 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 kids or like uh, their cows. So you have to be very careful when you're approaching such a group of elephants. They can do anything. They can harm you. They can they can just smash you into pieces. So please, if you're approaching the breeding head of an elephant, uh, you have to be very careful. Number two, we've got the bachelor heads. Most of the times, the bachelor heads consist of one older bull, a very old bull who is being guarded by the younger and stronger bulls. Those younger bulls are very aggressive because they are looking after their grandfather or whatsoever. They are very protective. They can just run after you. They can run after cars. They can do anything. They are so vocal. They're breaking trees. You know, an elephant can just pull down a branch from the tree and then you can throw it uh, at you and um, you can be like uh, injured very badly so you have to be very careful when you're approaching the bachelor heads and number three the most dangerous one that's an elephant in mast this is a very 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 sexual 
active elephant. He is ready, ready for mating and he can actually do anything. How can you tell that this elephant is in must? If you look at his genitals, he will be like dripping some fluids, bluish fluid from his genitals and uh, his organ is hanging out. You know, when he is walking, he can actually like drip around. When you are walking on foot, you can simply find or you can simply see the trails of uh, the, that fluid. It looks like urine wherever this elephant is walking. That elephant is in mass. He is looking for the female to mate. So you have to be very careful. That elephant is very, very dangerous and he is very aggressive by that time. And sometimes he is so vocal. He can be just screaming all over. He can be just doing some, um, some crazy things. That elephant, you have to stay away from him. You know, elephants can run as well. If you are walking, you can't outrun an elephant. A human being can't outrun an elephant. He can run after you, he can catch you and he can kill you. So you have to be very careful. Well, another elephant that is very dangerous is a wounded elephant. You know, we have some uh, hunters, they come to Africa to hunt all these animals for their skins and also for their tusks, especially the elephant's tusks. They love them. So if it happens that they shoot at this elephant, they wound him or injure him, then he escapes. Then that elephant becomes a threat to humans. Whenever he sees a human being, he comes after them and he will definitely kill you. So you have to be careful. You have to be uh, on the lookout when you're walking in the bush. That's why here in Africa, we don't encourage people walking in the national parks. That's like a life threatening thing. Walking in the national park is very dangerous. You can actually um, risk your, your life. You can be killed by animals. And also we have some poachers here in Africa. They come after an elephant. They shoot at these elephants at night. So shooting them at night doesn't give them a clear picture and also an aiming point. Sometimes they shoot and uh, injure an elephant and he runs away. And then when that elephant runs away, that means he becomes a threat to anyone he comes across. And whenever a poacher shoots and, he, and uh, injure an animal, he doesn't report to anyone. But for those who are authorized to hunt, whenever they shoot and injure an animal, they report to the authorities and those authorities will take care of that animal and also advising people that there is an injured animal in such an area, you have to be on the lookout. But with the poachers, they just do it and they leave the animal like that. That animal becomes a very big threat to anyone who crosses their path. And also we have some people who put some wire snares, some wire traps, trying to trap whatever animal for meat or maybe for, 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 for medicinal purposes. And at the end of the day, they will uh, catch an elephant. Maybe the elephant trunk is caught on this wire snare or maybe the foot is caught on the wire snare. That elephant is in pain and he is very aggressive. He can just come after anything that he sees around. So if you are in the African wild, you have to be on the watch out because you don't know what has happened to this animal. So getting too close to an elephant will actually cause you or like uh, cost you your life. You have to be very careful. Give them a distance. If they begin to be aware of you, if they begin, begin, begin to be alert, you have to retreat a little bit. Retreat a little bit. And also when you're driving, on a game drive vehicle or whatever car, and if you encounter a herd of elephants, you have to turn off your engine. Turn off your engine. I know that some someone will say, how can I turn off an engine? I have to leave my car idling so that I am ready to run away. No ways. If the engine is running, that rumbling of an engine becomes a threat to, the, to an elephant. So if an elephant hears the rumbling of an engine, he actually uh, thinks of a threat all the time. So he will definitely want to attack whatever is making noise. So you have to be careful. You have to switch off your engine and do whatever you are doing, photographing, videographing and doing everything. And you have to remain inside the car. If you are driving a car, no dangling of the hands of the car, no dangling of the feet of the car, no standing up. Just sit down, remain calm and less noise. What we only want to hear are the camera shutters all the time. You have to remain within the car because if you stand up, 
that's when the animal will recognize you but if you are seated in the car most of the animals won't recognize you you can take pictures at a closer range and they don't even recognize you someone will say they can smell us yes animals can smell humans but in this scenario you are in a car what has a stronger smell is the, 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 the fuel or the gas that you're using in a car. So the animal can only smell the car rather than smelling the people. So if you're in the car, you are safe. If an elephant approaches the car at a close uh, range, don't jump off the car and start running. Otherwise, it, it will recognize you, the one who is running. Then it will leave the rest of the car, then it runs after you and you will be the, the, the game of the day. So please, you have to be careful when you're dealing with the elephants. Small cars, please avoid getting too close to an elephant. Otherwise, an elephant can actually flip off your car or you can just walk over your car. So avoid close contact with an elephant. And in most cases, you find elephants right in front of you when you're driving. Then the chances of you backing off will be very slim because backing off is much difficult than driving forward. Sometimes you hit onto the trees, you go off-road, and sometimes you actually like a flip your car and you are in danger. Please avoid close contact with any dangerous animal. Avoid driving too close to any dangerous animals. Yes, you know that it happens sometimes. As I was say, saying earlier, when I was talking about the lion, that sometimes accidentally it happens that you just find yourself like in the close um, proximity with an animal. Yes, that one happens, but you have other ways of dealing with that. But if you have any chance of avoiding that, avoid it as much as possible so that you um, avoid being in danger of being killed by wild animals. Well, guys, if you're still with me in this video, please give us the like, the thumbs up. This will help our channel to grow. And please don't forget to comment down below that I'm still with you. And also, if you're learning something, just comment, I'm learning something. And if you like it, just comment, I like it in the comment box. And I will come and uh, respond to whatever comment you have. And also, if you have any question, please drop it in the comment box. I will try by all means to answer all the questions there. And uh, if you're new to this channel, subscribe and activate the bell icon. That bell icon will actually give you a notification every time I upload a new video. What do you do when you encounter an elephant charge? Do we take off on foot and set to run? Do we park the cars and climb the trees? Do we jump into the pits? Jump into the ledges or whatsoever? Jump into the water? The answer is no. You have to remain calm. Try by all means to stand your ground. Standing your ground is the best medicine when it comes to animal charges. You have to try by all means to stand your ground so that that animal actually recognizes you and he knows that this person is not scared of me. And you, sometimes you will just turn around and go away. We know that you know some animals are not predictable. We have what we call the mock charges. Sometimes a mock charge can end up being a full charge whereby the animal is trying to scare you, he's mocking, then along the way, he thinks otherwise, then he actually goes into a full charge and he charges at you. But try by all means to stand your ground. If you have a group, your group, bring them together, mobilize them, they will stand with you, then you create a huge something, make some noise, raising up your hands, whatever you have, you have sticks, you have whatever, raise it up. Try by all means to, to appear as much bigger than anything else that you can think of and in most cases that's when the elephant will just turn, turn around and he goes away sometimes he goes away all of a sudden you will think like oh yeah let me go back and try again he will come back again and actually charge at you but the best thing is standing your ground remember i said i'm trying by all means to run away from that term of shoot an animal we can't just keep on shooting animals because they are attacking people at the end of the day, we find that people are the very culprits who goes into the territory of the animals. Without you going into the national park, you were not going to encounter that charge. So you have to be cautious, you have to be careful, you have to know what to do when you are out there. So each and every time you are going into the national park, make sure you have a qualified 
guide who knows how to control animals who knows how to conduct their guiding or whatsoever works the drives and stuff like that these people are trained to do that if you are not aware of this please don't ever try to take people on a walk if you are not qualified please don't ever try to take people on a safari otherwise you will end up bringing dead bodies back into town you have to be very careful with the elephants it is a serious one because they can step stamp on you they can actually use their trunks to tear you apart they can use also i mean like their, their tusks to tear you apart and they can use their trunks to actually smash you so you have to be extra careful well what should we do now in case an elephant is still charging we're trying by all means to stand our ground but this elephant is still coming we back off a little bit bit by bit back off bit by bit while you're still making some noise while you're still raising your hands while you're still doing all these gestures trying to scare him away sometimes he will turn around and go away but running away that's the worst thing that you have you can ever think of don't ever run away don't ever turn your back from any wild animal otherwise you become the target well if it comes to worst what can you do that's shooting at an animal because the law also gives that small portion that small allowance of you shooting to kill an animal that is causing danger to the human lives and also like to the property and whatsoever yes we have to be very accurate when it comes to that one because you have to shoot it when it comes to the close proximity we've got a certain designated area whereby you have to shoot an elephant you don't just shoot it when it's out there maybe 10 meters or less that's when you can think of shooting at an elephant so if you miss him that means you are gone we have so many safari guides who have been killed by elephants because they missed number two we've got so many safari guides who were killed by elephants because they tried to serve their clients and at the end of the day they couldn't have a chance of shooting and um, number three if you don't have a backup rifle nobody who's gonna shoot a, uh, uh, a warning shot don't ever try to shoot a warning shot yourself because by the time you shoot and try to reload that will be very very too short or limited for you to reload another bullet to shoot an elephant so you have to be very careful no warning shots when it comes to shooting a charging animal but avoid doing that all the time those who are doing self-drive please as i am saying if you're not sure if you do not have enough knowledge about animals or dangerous animals of africa don't get too close don't get too close don't get too comfortable yes we do have some animals in other national parks that are comfortable with the cars if you go to chobe national park those elephants are too comfortable with the cars you can drive right in the middle of the elephants and you can still survive it but go to other national parks it will be the other story you have to be very careful if you're doing the self-drive you have to know the elephants before you drive too close and don't be too excited when it comes to african uh, wildlife you know animals are unpredictable they are just animals all of a sudden they can think otherwise they can just attack anytime so you have to be very careful guys it was nice having you in this uh, episode uh, whereby we were talking about an elephant as a dangerous animal for you to uh, to, to, to see another video whereby we'll be talking another about another animal that is dangerous in Africa be sure to subscribe and activate the bell icon so that when I drop another video about the dangerous animals of Africa you are the first one to be notified and please talk about this channel tell your friends tell your relatives about this channel share our videos with others so that they know what's taking place in Africa especially those who want to visit Africa this is the right channel because we also talk about uh, the tourist destinations we talk about everything the attraction that you find in Africa so please subscribe and activate the bell icon share and like our videos leave a comment down below leave a comment down below Outman Survivor signing out see you in the next one